Right, let's get started. Let's welcome again to my panel broadcaster and columnist Lizzie Cundy and also political commentator Sam Dowler. <clears throat> Lizzie, I'm going to start with you. Yes. Because you've met Meghan Markle. <laughs> met her? We were best friends. <laughs> yes, we she, were. she ghosted me. Did you? Yeah. Yes. Does that to a lot of people, actually, by the way? Uh, yeah, Duke and Duchess of Diddums, I call them Diddums. Um, I could just imagine her face when she knew she wasn't invited, can't, can't you? H, can you believe I'm not invited? Get, burn, you know, on the phone. Get my PAs on this. Why aren't I there? Well, I'm sorry those tables have turned. And I think this snub shows that the tide is turning for them across the pond. But let's face it, would you invite a friend to a birthday pack? bash that you know is going to put you possibly in their book, talks about you, makes lies up. Exactly. You know, they've seen what she's like and they're just thinking, no, we don't want anything to do with her. I'm sorry, that snub speaks volumes. What do you think, Sam Dowler? You love them. Well, no, I don't love them, but first of all, I don't, you know, I don't really think, I don't necessarily think it's a snub. Because, you don't? Well, no, because it was the uh, 25th anniversary of Anast Anastasia Beverly Hills' massive makeup brand, so all the people like J-Lo, Sharon Stone, um, yes, you know, they're she, all big, they're all... They're A-listers. They're A-listers, and, and mm. obviously, had Meghan not married Harry, she wouldn't have even got a chance of no, going of to such a party no, anyway, no. because, you know, she was a two-bit actress. I mean, like, obviously, part of me wishes, you know, wishes to be a fly on the wall when she saw the picture in the morning, going, <laughs> <laughs> she was. <laughs> but, do you know what I mean? I go in some sort of Joan Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do when I don't invite you to one of my parties. So. Yeah, right, babes. Um, well, anyway, you, but you I think. that when Gary Lineker didn't invite you to it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> His Christmas drinks, I was off the Christmas list. But the thing is, there, you know, these people are the upper echelons of, like, you know, Hollywood A list. And, you know, and, you know, with the King's coronation coming up, um, they don't want to be seen to be make, taking sides or anything like that. I like, think I mean, that's what it's about. Well, I think, I think it could, you know, it could be embarrassing because, especially, as, you know, obviously they love William and Kate in America. And if, and if you know, Oprah's got, mm. Oprah's got, you know, Megan and Harry, like, around them, hanging around socially. It looks, you know, mm. to, to William and Harry, it would, to, to William and Kate, it would be like, mm. Well, but, I, I, but, Meg, but perhaps Oprah sort of recalled slightly when mm. Harry went, racism, what racism? Oh. Yeah, in that Tom Bradbury interview. I mean, you know, because mm. that's everybody who supported his sort of cause, because, it, let's be honest, it did sound like he was saying somebody's racist. That's kind of where we go when you're yeah. making concerns about how dark someone's skin is. And it was, and it was that planned. is clearly something that's got to do with racism. Yeah, because yes. Megan, because Megan, obviously, when you watch the interview, Megan says it, and, and Oprah goes... <gasps> <laughs> really? Can you friendly. do the face? I want to do the face. <laughs> Look, here we go. Give me a single shot. <laughs> bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah, like, but, <laughs> do you not think Oprah just thought, gosh, I had the big scoop here, the big interview. Yeah. Half of it is total lies yeah. and rubbish. Mm. You know, she must be thinking they made a fool of me. Well, they did. Not and surprised she, they weren't invited. The same to Tom Bradbury as well. He's not shown his face for a while. But if you just joined us, welcome on board. You're with me. I'm Nana Aquid. This is GB News on TV, online and on digital radio. Coming